This 12-story office building has a 14,800 square foot footprint and a height of 185 feet. The 11th and 12th floors, however, are set back with floor areas of 7,500 square feet each. Two decks located on the 6th and 7th floors respectively are each suspended with stainless steel spiral cables. The building is organized as such, with below grade parking, followed by a main entry level, an athletic center on the third floor, and typical office floors on the second and fourth through tenth floors, a rooftop restaurant, and a penthouse suite. There is a 35 foot or two story difference in elevation between the front and rear of the building. Two cores housing elevator, stairs, mechanical, and plumbing chases are conveniently located in both wings of the building. Furthermore, the complex is organized on a 30 foot by 37 and a half foot grid, an optimum size for an office building. Moment frames span east-west, and braced frames north-south. Typical moment connections include flat plates, many over an inch thick, with a full penetration weld along the column face. Generally, beams span the 37 and a half foot length of our bays and are connected to a four and a half inch concrete slab via welded shear studs. These beams are also designed with a 2.5 inch camber, otherwise said, the deflection expected from a pre-composite wet concrete pour. The offset floors are so by exactly one structural bay from east to west. However, from north to south, the offset represents only about one quarter of a structural bay, resulting in this. Otherwise, the upper two levels use a moment frame along both major axes. But before any of this can begin, the site must be excavated, 51 feet to be exact, into weathered rock. Shoring can easily be achieved with sheets and piles. In order for the column splices to align throughout the building's construction, the first set of central column segments to be erected will be over 50 feet long.